Hello everyone. So in this video we're going to be going over some of the basics. Now if you already know the basics this video won't be for you. But if you don't I well I have to make this video because there are some players who have joined the game and they're struggling with some of the basics. So we're going to be going over some of that on basically where to start from when you're doing while well, playing this game for the very first time. I can't do that right now. I'm going to do Discuss about topping up. Right, how topping up works is... Yes, it is a good idea to spend money if you can because it does help. However, you can progress in this game quite far without topping up. There are players like... I can't remember their name, but there are a few players that have hit like um, 1 mil might without ever topping up. Um, Smart was another player who got really high before he ever topped up. So yes, you can progress in this game without topping up. If you're going to top up, you really want to make sure you top up enough to claim some of these event rewards located over there at the top, um, top right of your screen. And what you would do is... For example, you see this one here for Weekend Boost. Let me just check to see if there's anything decent that I want here. Now, what this basically means, where you see something like 100 gold daily, 0 out of 3. What that means is you have to top up 100 gold over 3 days over the Weekend Special in order to claim that reward. So today is Friday, which is the start of the weekend specials and the weekend boost and all that stuff. So today would count as day one. So if I topped up 100 gold today, I would get zero out of one on there. I would need to top up 500 gold for zero out of one. I mean, zero out of three, I mean, on here. 1,000 for, uh, for one out of three on this one, so on and so forth. I need to top up with 4,000 for one out of three here. And then tomorrow, when you top up, because in order for these ones to count, you've got to top up for three days in a row over the weekend boost or bonus specials. So if I top up tomorrow with another 100k, I mean 100 gold, that would bring me up to two out of three. And then on Sunday, that'll bring me up to three out of three and allow me to claim this. Now, if I've topped up 500 gold over three days, over the weekend special, and it's got to be the Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for this one, for example, that's when the weekend special starts, then I'd get this. This is for 1,000 over three days, which is obviously that for 1,000 over three days is 3,000 in total that you have to have topped up by over the total of three days. So that's 1,000 a day. Okay. And then same here, 2,000, so that's 6,000 total. 4,000 here, which is 12,000 total that you have to have topped up with to claim all of these. So if you top up with 4K over three days, so 4K today, 4K tomorrow, 4K the day after, you will be able to claim all of this, all of this stuff, all of this one, all of this one, and all of this, the whole lot. So that's how the zero out of three work. So if you think, oh, I'll just put on 12,000 today and that'll get you the more for the zero out of three stuff. It doesn't work like that. You have to top up that amount over a set amount of days whenever the special start. Down here, you can see from and to. So you know when it started and when it ends. Which means if you're already halfway through it, say for today, for example, today was Saturday and you're at zero out of three. And you can see that it started yesterday. 
Don't even bother topping up for these because you can't get any of them then. You've already missed it. So that's what this tells you from until. So there's the date there. That's when it ends. Well, um, I'm going from this date at that time. So that's when it started. Well, uh, basically midnight on that date till this date and when it ends just before midnight. These ones, as you can see, unlike this that has zero out of three, zero slash three, these have zero slash 500. Now this is not referring to the amount of top-ups you need to do like this one does. This is referring to the amount of gold you've topped up. So this is telling me I've topped up zero gold today out of five uh, out of 500 that is needed to claim these rewards so if i topped up with 500 gold i'd be able to claim this row 1000 for this row and this row 5000 for this row this row and this row 10000 for this row this row this row and this row so on and so forth this one is a zero out of three so this one is top up over a set amount of days because you can see zero out of three. So it's obvious that that's not referring to the gold shown above it, which is saying 100 gold, which means you need to top up with 100 gold over three days. That's a total of 300 gold to get this one. And then obviously 500 for over three days, a total of 1500 for these ones. Same for, you get the idea by now you should do for that. This one, for example, the weekend top up when it loads. This is referring to gold, as you can tell, because it's got the amount of gold above it and zero out of that amount of gold. So, yep, that's how all of that works and so on and so forth. Pretty simple. So where do you top up your gold from? Let's go check that out. We go to the shop located at the top of the screen. You go to top ups, and here's where you buy your gold, and it'll tell you how much gold you'll get. So if I spend this amount of money, I'll get 1,150 gold. If I spend like 50 pound UK money, I'll get 2,000 gold. If I spend like nearly 100 pound, I'll get 4,000 gold. Now, as well as that, you've also got these. Now, these do not refer to any gold top-ups, which means getting these will not allow you to get any of those event bonuses that I was just showing you, where you have, like, zero out of three or the amount of gold. This refers to, basically, additional rewards that you can obtain in-game. And what they are is they're basically monthly cards and season cards, which are privileged rewards. So by getting this, say if I got a monthly one, I would get a large amount of gold, bound gold, not the unbound, which is this one. So you don't get this stuff, but you will get this. And um, you'll also be able to claim every day for a monthly one, 96 gold a day. So what happens if you buy this monthly one, is every day you'll be able to click, I think it's on the bonus tab here, the top um, right of the screen, and you see where you've got grow funds, a box will appear below that. It's not gonna be this one. You can buy this one to be able to claim these rewards. What this basically does is it allows you to gain some additional stuff when you reach certain levels and it's just got it just bound gold so this is just basically growing your gold bound gold level so that you have more of that stuff but a box will appear below here i forgot what it's called it, it might be like compensation or something like no contribution or something like that that appears or something like that and it'll appear below here allowing you to claim 96 gold if you buy the season one you can claim 120 gold Bound gold, of course. Now, the difference between bound and unbound is bound stuff is easy to get. Unbound stuff is harder to get and a lot more valuable. Also, you can use bound, unbound stuff on things that bound stuff can't be used on. 
Okay, next. How do you do different tasks? Let's say you want to do an adv adventure and start growing and you need help. You know, you're struggling to get into teams. You're constantly being kicked and you don't know why you're being kicked. You don't know what you can do. You don't know what you can't do. So how do you get around that problem? Well, today I've already done mine, so I won't be able to do it, but I'm going to be able to show you how it works. So this is Icicle Peak Easy. This is Icicle Peak Hard, for example. Now, if you click on Icicle Peak Easy, which is the lowest ad V you can do, which is called Adventure, you'll see here at the top it says Min Level. What that means is you've got to be at least level 30 to be able to enter this. And then below that, you'll see recommended might. That means that you're recommended to be at at least that might to be strong enough to be able to win the event. In other words, to be able to participate without losing. However, if you're in a team with players that are high mites, they're not really going to care what level your might is because they know they can win without you as long as you're high enough to enter the event. And that's where this reg might is very important. Reg might here says that you need at least 24k might. That's 24000 might in order to enter this event. Which means if your might is below that, the team can't enter. Above it, it says players five, means you need five people in that team. It's a team event, and it says here team, which means you can't go in solo. You have to take a team with you or solo queue and hope you get landed into a team. But you're best off making a team or joining a team. Make sure that you meet the minimum might level for that event because if you don't the team can't enter and they'll have no choice but to remove you because you're stopping them from being able to do the event make sure you meet the minimum level if your might isn't high enough you might be able to boost it depending on what you are wearing let's say you've got your internals and you've chosen to equip all your say you've unlocked gold or purple or whatever classes in most cases, a lot of new players will unlock this purple first. Catholic Origin. Now, the problem with this is for low might players, they're extremely hard to get. These pages are extremely hard to get. But the blue ones, they're easy. So people will tend to upgrade and max their blue classes first before they're red. Well, before they're purple, I mean. This means you'll end up with your blue classes at, say, I don't know, Eco 5 or Eco 6 with a lot more might on them. You can see here how much might it gives you compared to your purple ones because they're going to be less because they're going to take you longer to upgrade and cultivate. For example, this one here gives me only 34,000 might. If I have it equipped. But this one down here gives me 39. This one gives me 39,000. This one gives me 39,000. Put your highest might stuff on when you're a low might. Even if you're weaker with it. Because that's going to allow you to participate in more stuff. Your might level is crucial to allowing your character to participate in different events. That you otherwise might not be able to participate in. next thing that I really want to go over is something I've actually made a video on. So people should already be aware of this. Return to Jinzu, located at the top. You claim these rewards as and when you can. Well, it's mainly the top one there. You do your view might. And after you've clicked um, a box here to view your might, you'll get some items. Go to your bag. Your item tab, scroll towards the very end, you'll find those boxes. Mine won't be there because I've already used them, obviously. 
I've made a video on it to show you how to do it. Called um, Sword of Shadows, levels one, level 1 to 17 seconds. Go check it out if you don't know how to do this. And you'll see the item. It looks like a box, like um, like um, like an old suitcase type thing, brown suitcase. And you open it using uh, you click on uh, you click on it, click use, and it'll use the key you've obtained to open it, and it'll level you straight up to level seventy. Okay, so what do you do as a loan? Now you're in the game. First, click on the quest tab located over here. You'll see a list of different stuff that you start off with the game telling you to do. At the very top or towards the top, you'll probably see your stories. You might see Chapter 1, Act 1, or Chapter 3, Act 3. Go through your stories in order from the lowest to highest. So the lowest will be the lowest chapter and lowest act. So, for example, if you've got Chapter 2, Act 1, and that's the lowest one you've got. That's then that's then all of the rest of your chapters in your list will be over that. So it'll be chapter two, act two, chapter two, act three, chapter two, act four, chapter three, act one. So you go to your lowest chapter and act, do that and work all the way through. Now, how do you go about doing that? Well, I've got none in my list, so I can't show you there, but I can click on the team tab. And this might annoy some people now because I'm about to create a team for one that I don't need. And therefore, it's an event that I won't be able to do. So for those who accidentally join this, sorry in advance. I'm just doing this for a video. Okay, so the lowest one on my list that I can invite people to, which should be the same situation for you guys. Everything below Chapter 2, Act 1 is solo events. You won't be able to invite people their their stories that you'll have to do alone. But the rest of your stories, you just click on it and you can queue for a team, which it says here. And what that basically means is it'll place you in a queue and anybody else who creates a team or is queuing for a team, you'll automatically be paired up with to do that story. But this can take a very long time because it's, Along, it takes a while before somebody actually makes and does a queue for a story because most people who have done it won't be doing it again because you can't do things you've already done. So if you can't um, queue for it, it's going to take forever. What's the next thing you can do? You can create a team. So you click on the Create tab. You see it's got it here already selected because we already highlighted it before we created the team. Story Instance Chapter 2 Act 1. And from here, which is easy to get to, you can do teams for Jinzu, C, Icicle Peak, easy. Phoenix, easy. Treasure Ship, easy. That one requires 1,000 might for Treasure Ship, easy. I mean, 1 mil might. It's a lot of might. It tells you here the minimum and maximum levels and stuff like that, how it normally is for those events. Is how it starts off. So this is telling you here that the minimum level really is about 50. Because 50 is where it's starting at. You can change it, but then people who join the team might not be high enough to participate in that particular event. But you can set the level that is allowed to join the event. So this is to set the, the minimum level. It's starting off at 50 because... Nobody under 50 can enter this event. And let's say you only want level 52 players in the event. You can bring the maximum level down. To 52. Click confirm. And now only players level 52 will be able to enter your team and join you. That's how you set that. So this is to set the maximum level that you want. So now it's set to allowing people up to level 90 to enter. And the lowest level that can enter is 50 because of the event requires a level 50 minimum. And this one, the lowest is 37. So here it tells you the minimum level. But it doesn't tell you the might. 
if you want to see the might you'll go to the advent tab so to go and check the might for them jinjitsu adventure click on it check what the required might is to do those events whichever one it is you want to do or seeing that people are making see if you meet that requirement and then see if you have enough chances a day now you see here i've got zero out of one daily challenge times that means you're allowed to go in there once a day i've got zero out of one which means i've already been in so i can't enter again but if you have one out of one it means you've got one chance you see here i've got total of four out of twelve that's total daily no total weekly i think no it might be total daily well they might have changed it to weekly total attempts now what that means is when you do these you lose one of your total attempts a day and you can use you have up to 12 attempts a day so those last four i would need to use on the only ones i have left which is hard i've got two attempts there and hell two attempts there treasure ship hard treasure ship hell but i can't do them the reason i can't do them is yes I meet the uh, minimum level, but I don't meet the minimum might. Which means if people make a team for it, I can't enter that event. I need to be at least 1,700,000 in order to enter this event. And you'll also know, if you are not sure which ones you can do or can't do, even after reading that, if you click challenge on your own, it'll tell you insufficient might and because it and because your might's not high enough it won't let you solo queue now if your might is high enough you can click challenge and what would happen is it'll place you in a queue and it'll wait for some other players to join the queue a queue for that event or task whatever it is you're doing and also it'll add you into any team that joins that queue so if you create a team and you've only got four players you can queue that team and any single individual player that is queuing, like what we're trying to do now, will automatically be placed into that team and enter the event. Okay. So I'm a little bit slightly off track. I'm sorry this video has taken a while. Uh, but there's a lot of basics I need to go through because people are struggling when it comes to starting off in the game. So, um, yeah. So let's say this is a story, it could be an advent, it could be martial law, it could be anything, something you're struggling on. You click create team, click confirm, and what can you do here? First, you can send an invite to world chat. This is now telling everybody, I'm going to turn auto agree off so that people don't join. This stops anybody from joining. You see here, I've got a mark in my application. This means that somebody has tried to join the team because I've just sent an invite out to World Chat. Wasn't too hard to do. All you do, all you do, is click Invite Chat, and everybody now, everybody who's looking at World Chat now knows you want help. You're asking for help with something. That's what Invite Chat means. So, with things like this, you don't need to really ask for help this allows you to do so if i click on application list because i turned auto agree off they can't join and these are the players who have quickly offered to assist me on the story invite that i sent out and will probably have a go at me in the next five ten minutes saying hey i've got a minute you've already done it so we can't help so why the hell are you sending us a help request you know what i mean but uh yeah Sorry guys, it, this is just for a video. Please don't get mad at me. So yeah, so how this works, you can click on your application list and you can clear this, which will remove them from the list. Basically, you're, it's the same as clicking on them and saying uh, re allow or basically refuse if you clear the list. Or you can click on my team, which will show you your team, what your team actually is. It's just you at the moment because you haven't let anyone in. This is the auto agree over here. I'm not going to click on the box because I want it off. 
but if you click on the circle you can turn it on or off if it's off like it is now it's not got a tick in the circle nobody can enter without your permission next you've got invite teammates by clicking on that you'll see everybody in your friends list anybody you've made friends with you can invite directly that'll send those people directly an invite to come and join you on what it is you're asking for help with of course you want to make sure that what it is you're asking for help with is something you can actually do because experienced players do get really annoyed when somebody asks for help with something and the person who's asked for help is actually not able to even start the event because they don't meet the mic requirement you know i mean it's like Christ's sake, you're just wasting my time. Why did you ask me to help you with treasure ship easy when you're not even one mil might? You're only 500k and you want me to help you with an event you can't enter. How, how can I do that? It gets so frustrating. This will allow you to invite guild chat. Well, not guild chat, I mean guild members. So anybody in your guild that's online, you can invite, scroll the list. Oh damn, I've disappeared. So I click on invite again. And then here is nearby. Now what this means is it'll scan anyone that's... Make sure you scroll it down. If you've been searching through this list, for example, it'll start you when you go to this list lower down. So scroll it up to make sure you can see anyone that's on the list. And it'll start from highest might and level downwards. So highest on this map is Chi. And then... As you go down, it's going to lower ones. And it's just locating everybody that's on the same map as me. So you'll send them an invite. See if they're willing to help you. If nobody here wants to help, click on your map. Click on world. You can see I was at Water Palace. I can now go to Wudang. Then click on team again, click on the team invites nearby and we can see who's here and start sending invites. So that's how you ask for help. If you need help, send an invite to chat. Make sure you can click here at the top to set what it is you want help for. I'm already set up for this one at the moment. I can remove that and change it to say demon challenge or martial law or i can recruit for chaos or heg heggy you can't do that now because if you read here it's giving you a little heads up opens at 11 30 to 1 and then 6 to 11 40 the time is 2 12 which means although you can make a team for heggy you can't start the event, even if you invite people, because, you know, it's saying not enough members because I've already created a team at the moment, but if I actually leave this, I'll show you why. Even if you recruited for that one, you won't be able to do it. And I say, that's um, single player, this is team invite. This game mode is not available at this time. Because it's not open yet. It's only available at certain times. <coughs> that's what that's basically telling you. Even though the game will actually let you make a team for it. The reason the game does that is. So that people can actually make a team. Five or ten minutes before the event actually opens. So that everybody's ready. So even though the event isn't available now. I could make a team now ready. And wait, and wait for the event to open. But the event ain't open for like another it's two o'clock now, so another four hours. So there's no point making a, a team for that now. So what's the um, first thing you want to be doing then? Go through your stories. That's the first thing. Go through chap the lowest chapter and act that you've got. You'll find them here in your list. Once you've done that, next thing you really want to be doing to help keep you growing is... Go through the ad fees that you can do. If you need unbounce, uh, 
Bound Silver, you do this event. If you need EXP, you do this event. It's a really good one. They tell you underneath as well what they give you. You know what I mean? This one gives you XP, so you know it's going to help boost up your level. It tells you here what you get for that one. It tells you here what you get for that one. Just read what it says. Level 80, purple stuff, right? Da -da -dun, da -da -dun. So, yeah. That's how the, that works. These you can enter when you've got certain things needed, like uh, martial arts tokens and heaven, hell smashers and heaven smashers and clay rune, uh, clay rune tokens and all that type of stuff for entering these ones here. Okay, then you've got this. And you just basically go through the list. So the first thing you want to start off with is clearing this area. Trying to get everything that you can do done here. And this is fishing and stuff like that. Pretty handy. When you have a child on the game. Auto loot this. Endless dungeon. You can auto loot it two times. Clear the highest that you can and then auto loot it. Do this. Do your ad fees. Next on the list will be... These are afternoon events. They tell you the time at the top of when they open. Those are tyrants. These are warlords. And you can click on them and go to the warlords and start killing them. You've got your demon challenges found here, which is also something you could make a team for, as you've see, probably seen earlier on in the video. It's one of the things you can do a team for. <coughs> This one actually doesn't give you much information. For this you need a token. Don't worry, most pe most teams that you join will normally have a token. I've got loads of these tokens. So, you, know, you or the team leader may use demon challenge tokens to activate the challenge. I can activate it for anyone because... I've got loads of those tokens. And many other players have as well. You can find a team or start. I've already done it, so the chances I have left is 0 out of 3. But if I hadn't done it, I could click start. And it would automatically take me to the team invite page. So that I can create a team. Confirm. And it won't let me create the team because it says, Your activity chances have been used up to date. In other words, I've already done this event. So yeah, go through that list. There's some other stuff down here you can do. If you've got a home, you want to do home quest, by going to, you know what, I'm going to do a separate video on home quest, so just stay tuned for that, and um, all of the materials, and all the information on home later on. It's something that I just haven't gotten around to doing. So I am going to do a video about it. But uh, you want to make sure you do this home quest daily if you've got a home. And let's see some other things. Click on event. Claim any rewards that come up, like online dailies. You can... Well, daily online, so being online for a certain period of time will allow you to claim these. Make sure you get them because it will help you out. These are valid from until a certain day and time. Bonuses. Make sure you claim these. Go to retrievals. I would always suggest, especially for a new player that struggles to get bound gold, claim all these with silver. Remember that event, Silver Valley, I think it's called. It's found in, uh, by the adventure stuff. That'll help, that'll help you to get silver. There are other places you can get them from as well. Well, yeah, you really, I would suggest to purchase all of these with bound silver only. Don't waste the gold on these. But do not click on retrieve all. I'll retrieve some. 
and there's a reason for that. As explained in one of my other videos, after purchasing all these, you'll see there's something here which it's not letting us claim. It's like it's got a box, it's overlapped with a second box. You can see 140. If you claim, if you click on Retrieval and you spend that money, you'll get that 140. But you can't quite see what it is. Just about see it in the background. What it is, is um, it's Siege Tokens. If I spend Bang Gold, which if you do have Bang Gold, I would suggest you to do, then you'll get 200 instead of 140. It's the same with these stuff. You'll get more if you use Bound. <coughs> I mean, yeah, bound gold. But I would suggest use bound silver because it's a lot easier to obtain and you're going to struggle to get bound gold. So only use bound gold for siege tokens. Now I'll spend 100 bound gold for that. That's 200 siege tokens. And what are these used for? Well, we're going to go to cultivation, martial arts, comprehension. And this is the exchange tab, which will show you the exchange for everything, whether it's from PVPs, whether it's from World Tour Awards, martial arts, you know what I mean? You can exchange stuff here. These are all different things you get from doing different stuff. If you want to know how to get them, click the plus sign. The same applies for bound gold and bound silver and unbound gold and unbound silver. If you don't know where to get them from, you know what I mean? You go to a page that shows you your bound gold or bound silver, like shops, like this one showing me um, bound silver. I can click the plus icon here. It's showing me some of the places I can get them from. So there's no real reason to struggle too much on knowing where to get things from. You're going to know how to get most of the stuff. The rest of the stuff you'll pick up as you play the game. So why do you want to be spending so much for bound for uh, season tokens? Well, with them you can do things like obtain these for mental skills. Get these to help you upgrade your gems. You can get these for some other mental skills, the blue quality mental skills. You can get these for gems. So you collect like how much of these are needed? Ten of those. You get ten of these. You can create that gem and then put it in uh, your internal gem. I've made a video about internal gems, so go check it out. You can get these for, in, uh, um, for enhancements. These for horse feeds. I'm currently trying to upgrade my mount, so the what I'd be spending it on is my horse feeds. And I've only got 200 at the moment, well, 200 free, so... I'll get the horse feeds, you can get this, which will give you all this stuff by clicking on the picture, it'll tell you what it gives you. So there's no worry in buying it and not knowing what you're going to get from it. This will tell you exactly what you're going to get from it. So use to get extra rewards including martial arts, comprehension, if you don't know what that is. I'll quickly show you. That's this. Martial Arts Comprehension, this stuff here, which you can use to buy pages. Once you've got a certain amount, you can unlock or upgrade those particular martial arts. So, yeah, you get Martial Arts Comprehension from that. What else do you get from the Glory Reward? Bound Silver. So, if you're someone who's trying to work on Bound Silver, this is something that's decent to get. Bound Silver is the Silver with the Padlock. And quite easy to obtain. Um, gambler tree pages or pre-stab pages. So if you're somebody who's trying to work on your purple classes, gambler tree and pre-stab, this is a pretty good one to get. These are horse whips. Used for upgrading your horse as well. While your mounts. So, yeah, that's how that work, works. If you go there, you can see all your exchange. Click on them, see what you get, and decide what you want. I've made videos about this stuff, and I can make another video to go in-depth about this. This video is dragging out too much, but now, after this video, you're going to know how to ask for help. Let's see what this person has actually asked me they wanted me to talk about, so I can do some stuff. Let's go through some stuff on this video. Okay, okay, thank you. And 
I'm sorry, Jessica. Probably because uh, I'm kind of going to to spend some money, or it's not necessary. Okay. If you're gonna spend money, then you should I would suggest weekend because on the weekend you'll get if you click on the event tab you've got your weekend boost which obviously you'd have to spend over three days in order to get that so most people don't normally have enough money to be able to do that so I count that out but you get these I mean, this is a nice little bonus. Now, you don't get these normally on a weekday all the time. Sometimes you might, sometimes you won't. I mean, you've got your black gold rewards, which you don't really count. You've got your weekly top-up. You'll always be able to get these. But require a high amount of topping up to get them. Your daily top-up, you'll always be able to get these, whether it's weekend or weekday. Basically, it's this internal special pack that... Uh, I like to go after a, and tend to top on the weekend. It just makes it quicker to get through your upgrading your purple internal skills. And if you can skip quickly green and blue internals and go straight to purple, that's going to help you out. Obviously, when you're doing events and trying to do things that require a set amount of might, then use your lowest ones, your purple, I mean your blue or your green, if they're a higher might, if they're providing you more might, even if you're weaker with it, use them because it allow you to get into those events. Weekend specials, obviously on a weekday you can't get these. So yeah, they got worldwide fame which is currently available right now. Happy weekend. Weekly gold spending. So when you get gold, if you spend it on something, I don't know, like you buy something from the uh, shops or something, you'll get um, this stuff. Now you have to remember. Now you got to remember to claim the weekend special. I mean the uh, gold spending. The weekly gold spending that I just showed you a second ago. You can't buy this stuff. Buying unbound silver does not count towards gold spending. You'd have to use it on something like Lucky Wheel by getting loads of these um, tokens. I'm not going to use any because I've already got tokens, but if you go to the shop or something, you'll see that you can purchase those tokens for it somewhere. Whereabouts, I can't quite remember, but I know they're on here somewhere. It's probably going to be on, bear with me, I know where it might be.
can't remember where you get it from but if you haven't got any you'll just click on lucky wheel to get them so if you click on lucky wheel and you haven't got any it'll take you to um the page where you get them from but i've honestly forgotten where to get them from because i don't normally buy them unfortunately maybe this will take me to the page no that won't they'll get them here Just take a look here. Might, might tell me. Give me a sec. I don't want to use the ones that I've got so anyways all you need to do is click on that and it'll show you where to get them from now you can do the lucky wheel which gives you a chance of getting some really good stuff or you can purchase let's have a look one of these one of these anything that requires you to spend bound gold directly will count to weekly gold spending money but if you spend it on um buying unbound silver it won't count so if you was to buy say beast feed cost 250 unbound gold it'll count towards your weekly gold spending bonus So, um, yeah, I think I've gone through the basics you need to know. Um, after topping up, click on Event, Claim Everything. That's this tab over here at the top. And then um, click on Bonuses. See if there's anything there for you to claim. Go to your mail, pick up your rewards in here. If they're left in there too long, after a certain period of time, the game will automatically delete them. So make sure you don't, you know miss out on all your stuff my inventory is full at the moment so that means i'll have to go to my bag at some point and clear everything out get rid of what i don't need so get rid of some of these and so on and so forth i've made a video showing you how to increase your space on your inventory and i'll make a video showing you about um the warehouse for storing stuff and things like that which is obviously part of your home. And I'll make a video going over the home and stuff like that. So we're going to end this video here. Now you know how to ask for help. You know why you're getting kicked from teams that you're joining. Because minimum might and stuff like that. So now things should be a little bit more easier. Go check out my older videos. My older ones go through more of the basic stuff for new players. And obviously the newer videos I've made... We'll go over more advanced stuff that will confuse people. Some of the things may have changed since I made those older videos because the game is constantly updating. It's changing things. It's rearranging things and adding new things and removing old things and stuff like that. But pretty much everything that was used in my older videos still apply. And in one of my beginner's guide, which was like Sword of Shadows Basics or How to Warp Might or something like that, Sort of Shadows, How to What Might, and I think I did a Sort of Shadows Basics as well. Go check them out. There's um, In one of them, you'll see the comments, and in the comments somewhere on one of them, I actually linked two, I think, two videos from other YouTubers who have made videos that provided useful advice. So I decided to link those um, videos in... Well, I basically put those videos in the um, chat because I couldn't be bothered to go on and edit my video and add the link in the description. So if you have a look through the comments, you may see links from me to those videos. Go check them out. They will help you out, teach you some of the basics, the trade system. Sell stuff that you don't need to offer players by going to trade, clicking sell and selling what you don't need. 
and uh, that'll help you to get the unbound silver that you want so that you can then go to the shop so i've got 55 at the moment 55k and i can click on martial arts i can have a look at all the gold see what's available see if i want to buy them or if i don't this is like going to cost me this much at the bottom it's showing me how much it is per page at the top how much it's going to cost me in total and what i'm going to get 19 of these dragon claw pages if i were to buy them i don't have enough at the moment so we'll leave that i'll go and check out this and obviously you can click on martial arts click on school martial arts and click on a particular school class that you might want to obtain if there's any for sale or particular jinjitsu martial arts it could be a purple class it could i mean blue it could be a purple be tai chi gold class yeah you know i mean that's how the trade system works and you'll just click on and if you want to buy something let's have a look at tai chi it's something i'm actually after they're going to be soft quite a bit though aren't they yeah i knew it very expensive and if you wanted to buy them and you had enough for it you just click on it oh my bad click on it which highlights it like that and then you'll click this buy tab Obviously, I can't because I ain't got enough money. It'll try to let me use my unbound um, gold. What that means is it'll let me to use my unbound gold as if it was silver. This, of course, will not count towards your weekly gold spending money. So, by doing this, you won't be able to claim any rewards from the uh, event tab under weekly gold spending. It doesn't count towards it. And if I was to do this, I'd get, let's see, gold is worth, 10 gold is worth 1k, so 100 gold is worth 10k, 200 gold is worth 20k, so I'm at 20, that'd be about 26k, so I know that 265 will, should not be enough, even with this um, unbound silver that I have to get this, so I'm going to click confirm and show you what happens when you don't have enough. Not enough unbound silver, and I don't have enough gold to cover the lack of unbound silver. With my gold, that would only bring me up to about 76k or something like that. Well, about 80k. Well, about 80k because I got 55 there, ain't I? So, yep, that's it for this video. I know it's long, but it goes over the basics, and yeah, thank you all for watching. Bye bye. If there's anything I missed out that you want to know, comment down below or let me know in-game and I'll make a video to cover it. And from this video upwards, we're going to be doing a couple of basic videos. I do plan on making a video about homes and stuff like that, but there seems to still be people joining the game and not knowing where to even start. So I want to get that sorted out. So that's it for now. Bye-bye.